Hey everyone, Miles J here, and today I'm gonna be reading some excerpts from my diary. I have several volumes, and we're gonna be starting in chronological order. I really haven't gone that too deep into these, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's dig in. <laughs> November 8th, 2007, 10, 47 a.m. Yeah, you weren't expecting that. Time clocked, okay? I was 14 years old. I'm still wondering how I'm going to tell him I like him. I should probably just tell straight up, but it can't be at school, spelled S-K-O-O-L. I'm determined to walk home with him tomorrow just to see where he lives. Ooh, girl, that, that's creepy. Okay, that's, that's a little bit invasive. Anyway, just to see where he lives and if he's within walking or biking distance. Damn, bitch. Wow, she's making plans, okay. He'll probably be hella freaked out when he sees me trailing on the bus behind. Okay, I can't read any more of this. So, basically, I was crushing really hard on this straight boy because I'm dumb and young and that's what gay men do when they're growing up. It was just dumb. If you are out there, please don't fall in love with a straight man. Eventually, I told him that I had a crush on him over the phone and um, he said he had to go take a shower and hung up. So that was that. So this is my pink and black journal. Ooh, girl, this is so embarrassing. November 16th. 2010, we've moved up a couple years, so keep that in mind. 8, 11 a.m. I woke up late today. That's late? Woo, you should see what time you wake up now, bitch. Woo! Still trying to figure out how well this day will turn out to be. Wondering how my brain got so infected by this boy that I somewhat lost myself in him. At some point when I figured out that all the boys I was crushing on were straight, I just moved on to the internet where I could literally talk to any boy and they would actually be gay. He's sweet, considerate, caring, loving, adorable, and most importantly, he's so goddamn cute. But I believe it's for the best that I should give him up. Next page. <clears throat> I was probably just some side story or some hollaback boy. That's actually written in this journal. That's really written in this journal. I'm gonna move on. I have to move on. My writing style has always been dramatic. I am a dramatic person, just, you know, from birth. That's just the kind of bitch I am. So this next entry is actually a song. I wrote a whole song for this boy I just talked about. Um, his name's Blake. But he was a hoe. He was a straight up hoe because he had a boyfriend and he was talking to me some kind of way. That is some thoughtacus ass <laughs> I felt so disrespected. I was a side chick. Well, I, ooh, why am I just now realizing this? I was a side meal. I, wow, wow. It goes. You can touch me, you can hold me, you can kiss me on a flow. If you like it, baby, then just say you want some more. From September to October. That's only like, isn't that just two months? September, October? Girl, we, we really need to talk. It, <laughs> two months? Two months? And you writing songs? Wrong move, girl. Wrong move! Together, baby, that's how we'll be. I'm not crazy, you feel it too. And just maybe we'll fall in love tonight. Thank you. Moving from that, I completely neglected to mention that I never saw Blake's face in person. He lived in a completely different state across the country. So if I had to go back then, I would just say, girl, stop talking to these boys. Focus on your grades. You know, find some candy to suck on. You know, get your sugar intake, your sweetness, okay? For that general area. Fill the void with something more productive, okay? Thank you. I hope you enjoyed watching me be emotionally vulnerable. Thank you guys so much for watching MTV's Dear Diary. Click here to watch more videos and click here to subscribe for more videos. <laughs> Bye.